My name's Caroline Lucas. I'm a member of the European Parliament for the Green Party and indeed leader of the Green Party. This film was incredibly powerful. It's an amazing wake-up call for politicians, for individuals, for everybody in the whole world, quite frankly. Basically, we have a tiny window of opportunity in which to really shift the whole focus of our economy and our society. I would love, as a member of the European Parliament, to get my colleagues, politicians, to sit down and watch that film. I'm negotiating with the French Presidency, with the Council of Ministers right now on climate legislation. They need to see that film. They need to have the pressure of a massive campaign behind it to make sure they really do make the most of the Copenhagen summit at the end of 2009 and really put society, put humanity on the course to a safer, happier future. I think this film has an amazing potential to reach people right across the world. It is incredibly accessible, it's funny, it's wise, it's tender, it's scary, it is powerful and I think the message that goes along with the film is that we can make a difference, that the time is now, that to be part of this generation living as we do is both an enormous responsibility but also an enormous opportunity because we are the ones who can make a difference and I defy anybody to come out of that film and not feel that they've got to make a difference too. Well, I thought this is uh, a profoundly important film. I think it is very cogent in the way it uses the science to tell us a story about the, the greatest challenge that humankind faces, climate change. I think it uh, lays the responsibility on us and our politicians to act soon with the speed and scale of action that is necessary. It is, quite simply, the wake-up call that we need and the call to action that we need. And I hope it motivates a lot of people to support campaigning efforts around the world to hold our politicians to account and deal with this problem. And what sort of political impact do you think it can actually have? It can have as much as, as we make it. I think the thing here is to get people to see it. And once they've seen it and been motivated by the need to act, I think we need to focus that on a mandate on politicians that says, look, be bold. The decisions that you're going to have to take will be hard, but you can nail this problem and you can create a better future for everybody if you act with swiftness and decisively. And, and to that extent, I think the more people will see it, the better. I hope millions of people in this country and, and millions of people around the world will see it, be motivated and hold our political leaders to account. It, it's, not, it's not the most, uh, how can I put it, in, uh, let me rephrase that. It is, it's not a film to make you happy. It's the film that makes you sit back and think, you know, what is my role? on this planet in a way. It's one of those profound kind of stargazing moments. You come out of that film and think, my gosh, what is my role? What, what, what kind of planet will, will be still, still be here for, for my children? And, uh, and I think to that extent, it, 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 compared to other films, it goes right into your viscera and makes you think and makes you really want to get active. And, and, you know, I, and that's the experience I think that virtually everybody I know who has seen this film has come away with. So it's just about the most powerful motivational tool to action that I've, that I've come across in recent times on climate change. Um, I thought it was an extremely powerful film. Um, hits you on a factual basis and an emotional level, um, perhaps even stronger than an inconvenient truth. Um, I'll certainly tell everybody I know to go and watch it, and I'll look at the relevant websites to see you know, what can be done, because it's turning it into action. It's, it's all very well people enjoying the film and agreeing with what they say, but... Um, following up with, with the websites that go with it, you can actually put it into action and see what you can do. How powerful a tool do you think it can be? How powerful a tool? I think massive. I think combined with the internet, I think film is the most powerful medium nowadays. And combined with the, with the internet of drawing people in to see the film and then passing them back to the internet to see what they can do to help make a change, I think it's enormously powerful. Um, I belong to a group called CAN, Climate Action Now. I've got the t-shirt here. Um, but I watched the film and I felt um, kind of really angry and sad and my heart was beating and I just felt like I always get this feeling when, I, when I'm listening to this kind of information that time is running out which makes me really panicky and, and more and more determined to um, carry on doing as much as I can and it was a fantastic film, I loved it. Uh, I'm Ruth Little and I'm literary manager at the Royal Court Theatre. Uh, I thought it was extraordinary because it's an epitaph for mankind and potentially for the planet as well. And I've actually just come back from the Arctic Circle. Uh, I went on a trip with Cape Farewell 
Uh, and I've just recently been amongst that melting ice and have a very clear sense of how vulnerable the environment is. And I work in the theatre as well. And the thing that I think is so powerful about the film is that it, it actually has the capacity not just to inform people but to change their minds. And until you do that, you can't change anything. You've got to be able to change their minds before people can change their lives. And so I think it does have the capacity to do that and I would absolutely support the campaign and every aspect of it, I have to say. I thought it was great. What would you say to your friends who haven't seen the film yet? Well, I would like them to see it. I think it should be mandatory, actually, really, at, at every level, and certainly through all education institutions and, and cultural institutions as well, because you need you need ongoing response to a film like this, not simply to witness it, but to re respond to it, to react to it. So, I mean, I will go home and I will tell everyone I know about the film and about the impact that it might have on them emotionally uh, and intellectually, but ultimately, hopefully, philosophically and, and ethically as well in the end. I'm Vicky, I work at Cape Farewell, I'm project director at Cape Farewell. I thought this film was totally brilliant. I think it's colourful, I think it's moving, I think it's funny. I think if 250 million people see this film, then the future is bright.